Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. The first thing you'll need to do is locate your fuse block and best suggestion for that is to check your owner's manual but I'm going to show you some common places um, where they're put in a lot of cars. Okay, on this Pontiac Torrent, which is the same as a Chevy Equinox, there's an access panel right near the passenger side feet. Okay, you pull off that door and you can see right in there pretty easy to get to all the uh, fuses. On the back side of the door there is a key that shows you um, which fuse uh, runs which accessory and put it back in. And then on a Chrysler PT Cruiser, just a couple different examples. Uh, this is just a little door right here next to the driver's feet. Okay, and then on the back of that door, um, maybe hard to see, but you can see some writing. Uh, that shows you which fuse goes with which circuit. Um, you know, maybe your taillights or your radio is not working. Uh, you look for whatever accessory you might be having a problem with and find the fuse uh, and then pull it out and check it. Okay, we'll put that door back on. And then I'll check, uh, this is a later model um, GM truck. Okay, there's an access door right on the side of the dash as you open the driver's door. You can see some fuses back in there. Then a lot of vehicles have fuse blocks uh, underneath the hood. Okay, you can see the nice big one here, the little tool that helps you pull them out easily. And then this vehicle has a nice key on the back of the cover. Uh, let's say that the rear defog is having a problem, so you can locate the fuse right there, find that corresponding fuse, use your little plastic fuels ex fuse extractor, pull it out, and you work it back and forth a little bit, and then you can see uh, here's a good fuse on the left and a bad fuse on the right. Now you can see right in, and there's a reason you can see through the fuses, is because uh, that's how a fuse works. It has a little, um, basically a I guess a, a electrode or a wire that runs through it that can only handle a certain amount of power. If it gets too much power through it, it blows and it looks like that. Okay. Now this is just, if you have a blown fuse, it's very important. That's It's actually an indicator of a possible larger problem. Now you could replace the fuse and maybe your vehicle works just fine, um, but if you do replace the fuse and it blows again, that means you have a short somewhere and you need to correct the larger problem, not just replace the fuse. Okay, so now we'll go back and I usually just kind of put the fuse in place then push it down with my finger. Okay, put our little plastic tool in place, back in place. You don't want to lose that. Makes life a lot easier. And then put the cover back on and I hope this helps you out. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.